I feel like a colourful parrot. You've come so far. Hello, welcome. My name's Prue or Prue Larue and this is my channel. I really love playing with colours and I've been really inspired by Mitchell's Instagram so I decided to try and recreate one of his looks today. I've already cleaned it off if that indicates to you how well this looks come out. Uh, but if you want to see me complete a uh, really intense eye look with lots of different colours, freak out in the middle a little bit and <laughs> end up here, um, feel free. And I'd love to have you come along for the journey. I hope you subscribe. I hope you enjoy a laugh. Here is my beginning phase, face. So I've got the MAC Studio Fix in N18 as my foundation today. I've got the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as my eye primer. I've got the Stila Brow thing that's still on from earlier. And then I've also put it one over it with the Goof Proof. Goof proof, goof proof pencil just to fix that up. I've got Ever Decay Color Fuel on the lips. I've already put some of the Fenty highlighter on. I've covered it with the Hourglass powder, the Veil powder that I've still got in the travel size. And I've used the Fenty Linen Amber Contour and Under Eye Concealer because I just thought I'll have a play with it. And so I have today been inspired by a look, this one, by. Mmm, Mitchell. It's a funny thing with being on Instagram in the makeup section because it's very easy to get, um, like once you see a certain kind of look you just want to recreate it. And I can see how people forget to credit people because they might not think that they were inspired by it. But when your feed is one thing, like you will sort of end up doing something that you've been seeing. And so today you can see it's a pretty intense look. Not going to recreate that brow thing, I just, my brows aren't that sparse. But I thought I'd give everything else a whirl. So they've used the Carnival palette. I don't have that palette, but I have plenty of others. And I thought, look, let's take you into my beginning process. So we need a blue, a pink, a purple. Oh, there's an orange on the outer and a yellow. What I sort of start off is that I start, I've pulled out a few palettes. I'm going to go from there. So I thought I might Lovey and Rose. So I might try these two shades in the look. So I've got the uh, Electric Obsessions from Hue de Beauty. And I thought maybe that blue. Well, it's quite like a navy though. But I thought maybe definitely for the pink from this one. Well, I think this orange up here might be a good one. Yeah, I'm going to try this orange as like that in the um, outer crease blending. The KKK Mario. This blue. So maybe that sort of has like a bit of an effect that I want. Inglot blue I've got. Oh, that's very bright though. Maybe the yellow from the Inglot. So I think definitely I'm going to incorporate that yellow. I think that's got that definite effect there. So that's in the game. Oh, there was a yellow on the Huda. So Huda Beauty is a bit more of an orangey yellow and then the Inglots are more straight yellow. So, um, look, I might pull into the pastel goth. I might I'll try and hold back, but that doom color. I think these these shadows are just going to help me if I screw anything up. So I've got the Inglot 66 AMC glue. You can't even see it. What's the point? I think this was 60 percent off, so I feel like it's probably like uh, being discontinued. But I was like, that oh, looks like fun. And then I just like to draw it through and see how it's going to contrast. I think this might be, this might work. Let's get started. Eh? So I've just got this really big one from Jessup Brush and let's start, well let's use the KKK Mario palette. This has got the nice boring colors to use. The shades there. So Decade. I'm just going to set my eye with Decade. <laughs> shades first and then build from there. Alright, I've hit like a 
the color is just not coming up as bright, vibrant as I want it. Or should I try like spraying it? Let's do that. No, there's definitely some kind of base. <sighs> I can't really be bothered. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it without doing the vibrant, but it, it definitely needs like a white, a full white shadow underneath it. So we're just gonna go about, what, a third of the way? And then he's gone into the pink on the outer. Did I choose a pink? Yeah. Ah, lovey and rose. And this is just gonna go next to that. He's got something a bit more fancy going on than what I'm doing, but oh well. Uh, so this is the shade Rose Risqué palette. And then I'm also just going to use my finger. And he sort of put a peachy shade between them. So I'm going to put Euphoria there. I'm not, I don't know. Alright, I chose a purple to put there, of course. Oh well. All a bit of fun. so muddy. What happens if I put pale fire on top of it? I like it more. That's what happens. And it goes in orange. Um, then I just want to pull out a clean blending brush. Let's use this weird one. blue in the inner corner so let's do that I'm just gonna I'm going for a shimmer why not so we've just done a battery change so going in with this blue I don't really know what this is going to be honest use the same brush because I'm feeling really lazy and I think we're up to purples in the outer aren't we so going back to the Pat McGrath this is I think this is almost the most I've used this palette part of me is sure about this look right now so we sort of brought the purple in a bit closer but more matte purple oh there is a matte purple in here all right let's play with that one I feel like I need smaller brushes for this it is such detailed work so this should be the cut shade paranormal I didn't swatch this before putting this on my eye. I think I'm regretting that choice now. Let's just hope I can I 
feel like this isn't very good. Or does this just look ridiculous in person? Alright, so I'd chosen an orange, haven't I? Pat McGrath. Ah, electric obsessions. A little orange in the outer. Like fix it because it will just tie it in. Huh? Mystery. Did we say it? I ran out of space on this side. I've gone so far we've got to finish it um, all right let's do the liner oh why did I do this to myself successful wing. Um, I don't really like this. I guess I'm, I'm glad I, I don't know. I don't think I'm glad about any of this. Um, let's put, let's put a shadow underneath. Let's use that purple uh, rain. I'm sorry, this is this is the first look I've done that I've I've just hated. Oh I should I'm just I'm just gonna keep going though, okay? Uh, I hope I hope you're I hope you're cheering me along. Um because 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 I, I don't know why I did this to myself. I, I did buy the, the NYX white liner though. And um, let's try this. is terrible. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like that though. Uh, let's do mascara. Um, let's just wipe 
this stuff. Ah, oh, that powder didn't save me from myself. So I kind of just fucked this set up pretty good. This look requires like a ridiculous. Oh, the pebble from Mac. I got this for free, I think. Uh, and where is it? It's like a. I don't know what the fuck it is. Versicolor stain, long distance relationship. I think, I think I'm just done. Anthony! Alright, my sister's agreed to react to my makeup. Uh, I'm just gonna give her a call and see how we go. Hi. Hey, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good. Wait, I don't know if I just put me on mute. Yeah. Alright, I'm filming it, is that alright? Mm hmm Alright, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to copy. Have you seen like the M.M. Mitchell makeup? Yeah. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's cool. Where did you get the white highlighter? Oh, it's the NYX one. But that's so hard to do. You need to get a tiny brush and just get white liner because their yeah. brush sucks. I mean, I'm also not good at applying it. I can't. I can't. <laughs> hmm? It's cool. Oh, you like it? I mean, you can't wear it out. But. Oh, no. I was, like, doing it, and I was like, oh, my God, what have I done to my face? What have I done? I need to, like, I'm like, I just want to clean this off. Like, because I went so far out with the purple. I didn't even leave any space here because I just, like, forgot. I was, like, getting so nervous. Yeah. Let's see the other side. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of space. Yeah, I left more space. <laughs> this is the first one I did. And then, like, like oh, what's, what's going on with that purple? And then over this eye, I was more nervous. And the white is, like, more here. Yeah, I don't know how people line that shit up, man. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> how does anyone get that correct? <laughs> so what do you film for the um, reaction? I tried filming the screen. I don't know. I'll see if it works. Otherwise, I'll just use your voice. Hopefully it picked up. If that's okay. Yeah, otherwise we can always do another one. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> that should be alright. I know <laughs> I, I asked Anthony and he was like, oh, I've never seen so many colours on your eyes. I was like, <laughs> thanks. But yeah, well, do you like it or just it's like, what do you think? I think it's okay for a photo. <laughs> Hello. But no, I mean, you wouldn't wear it. No, I don't. You'd have to be going to a, like a rave or something for this. Yeah, I don't even know. Just be really out there. Yeah. It, it's too far that for one, me. That side definitely looks better. This one? Yeah. Yeah. That mine is better. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, I'll take some pictures and then I'll probably wash my face. Okay. Alright, cool. So thanks. Have fun talking to mom. Alright, love you. Love you. Right, bye. bye. <laughs> Hello. I forgot to film an outro. So, this is it. <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope the footage of my sister reacting works. I tried to record the record it in Bowtum but you can't see it and it stopped because it's video call so if anyone knows how to record video calls let me know because that was funny but I'll include her voice uh, she's a professional makeup artist and runs a salon in Dubai so I do value her opinion and you should enjoy seeing that look um, I was a bit horrified when I finished doing the look uh, and I um, I just I, I've already cleaned it off, obviously. 
and I've just reconcealed around my eye and it was a fun look to do but I wasn't ready to see myself look like that and so I'm just gonna move into like a bit more of a safer one ah thanks for watching I really appreciate it Thank you.